Squeeze game. <coughs> Back with another one. Andrew Tate, yo, listen. I had this in the watch later because I saw early. I was like, yeah, it's getting done later. I just saw the title. I saw Bernie run up. Whatever. So, boom. This is what we finna do. Andrew Tate. But I was just on the gram. On Instagram. Feel me? Follow me on the gram while we talking about Instagram at Dollar Sign Sauce. I'm following the I'm following people back. So, shit, y'all better follow me now because later on I might not follow back. But listen, Andrew T and his brother just got locked up. Human trafficking. Nah, nah, man. Yo, not the top G. I hate seeing people go to jail, but. If he was out there human trafficking, bro, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, come on, bro. Niggas got daughters. Niggas got. You feel me? Nah, niggas ain't jacking that. But listen, let's jump straight into this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Free top G until we know what's the facts. You feel me? So we gonna say free him until we know what's the facts. You feel me? So free top G and his brother them. Let's get into this. Watch the whole podcast to know more. It's about the status of being the man in the house. That's what a man wants. He wants respect. He wants to be the man of the house. I say she stays home. She stays home. Big G. Boom, boom. Boom, nigga. I say you stay home, nigga. You stay home. And I'm kind of in some shit right now over that. Real shit. Nigga going through his own shit. Similar. I'm going to come be down here with Britney because she ain't even saying nothing for real. We're going to come down here with it, squeeze that. And I'm going to shrink it up. I'm going to shrink it up for them. Feel me? I'm going to shrink it up. Let's get back to it, though. I'm all on her foot. Ugh, Britney winner. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, y'all. I'm just fucking around. Nigga on her foot, though. Ugh. Can I ask you something? What about, what does the, the, the woman want in your eyes? What do you think? And what's the game you get for the boys? I'm going to tell you, but before that, I need another Clementine, and I need to give half to our friend here, because she just rolled her eyes at me. Mm. And I'm perspicacious. I notice everything. She doesn't realize how I'm a ninja. I detect these things. Even when I'm looking directly ahead, I can detect it. So That's I'm gonna why give you her, I'm going to give her some of my Clementine, and she's going to feel better. So I'm going to get a Clementine for you. Would you like some Clementine, my dad? Would you like sure. some, my love? You want some I, I, just, I think for me, it's my like... I, I asked you a question. Would you yeah, like I Clementine? would love some. Yeah. You want some Clementine? Yeah. We're going to hook it up. Okay. Clementine's coming. Like, so if a guy cheats on a girl, is there ever a point where she... Yeah, there's a law of cheating. There's completely a law of cheating. So, like, if he, if he knocks up another girl, would you Go, All far? right, all right. So, yeah. f first things first, I'm a man of my word. I don't even think I'm a liar. So here's your Clementine. <laughs> Thank you. And he peeled it. I'm a gentleman. Thank you. I'm a gentleman. And he peeled it. Right. So, obviously, I'm not saying blatantly disrespect your woman, right? She's your woman. She's your queen. She's the most important thing in the world to you. Yes. I, I want to say... Um, Andrew, she said... Andrew, I, I want to hear... I really... Because... Because you've been through a lot in your life. I, like, when when she told me that you were going to be on and we were going to be on this panel together, I started watching a bunch of your videos, and it really was like, there's so much that you have been through, which is why you have a well of wisdom, right? And the difference between me and you is that you're glorified for it, and I am burned at the stake for everything that I've been through. And I, I, it's so funny because people have always said that we were two sides of the same coin as far as like, well, if Andrew Tate gets banned, Brittany Renner should get banned because there's we are all about accountability and truth, right? Yeah. Okay, so you've been through a lot, I've been through a lot. I'm seen as used goods. You're seen as a high value man. Yeah. So if you're me, then then what? What's yeah. next? Yeah, it's really interesting, and it's it's interesting you make that observation, and you are correct. That's the difference between the masculine and the feminine. It's kind of it's unfair, I guess. The world's not fair, but that's the difference between the masculine and the feminine. Men are respected for going through things and surviving, and women Shame. are the complete opposite. They're shamed for going through things and surviving. If you look at women, love scars on men for a reason. He's gone through something. He they're did. war wounds. Yeah, the war wounds. Men don't want a chick covered in scars. I'll say this right now. <laughs> I like yo, bro. I be watching the thing because the way he breaks shit down is different. I ain't gonna lie. I thought I was playing with it, like, cause I break shit down too. But facts though, like, ladies love war wounds, y'all. I got war wounds. I got stabbed up all crazy. I ain't gonna tell you that story though. But yeah, like, they just love war wounds. Now you see a big stab wound on a girl, you like, what the fuck, like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, nah, my nigga, nigga like that clean, smooth skin. Like, ladies like that little rough scar, got cut in the face, all that. A woman, the more trauma she goes through, 
the more masculine she naturally becomes. And if you were to give me my ideal woman, I would not want of, of wanting her to have a hard life and a bunch of trauma. I like the idea of her having a soft feminine life and being a soft person, and I can take care of her and protect her. Whereas, as a man, to be a good man, you need to have been through a bunch of trauma. Because if you haven't been through trauma as a man, you're a weakling. You have to have been through a bunch of shit. So the masculine and the feminine is a very interesting point there. As for, I don't know, I don't know your history, I don't know the past, but we can just talk in general, generalizations in regards People to... People like me, I guess, okay, under the same umbrella. It okay, doesn't have to be I, yeah, I, I don't know yeah. any of it, but we'll give generalizations. One of the main reasons that men are scared of a female with history is is because it makes the man insecure. And, yeah. and scared dogs bite. So this is why men will snap or get angry quick or they'll bring up your... If you, if you get an argument with them, they'll bring up your history, that whatever... But a lot of it is insecurity, and it's not insecurity because the man is insecure. The woman, the women, the female paradigm in society convinces men, any man who says anything, you're insecure. That It's not insecure in that way. It's insecure in a very realistic, logical way. Like I was saying earlier, she's had a lot of life experience. Let's be honest. Am I the richest guy she's ever had? No. Am I the most famous guy she's ever had? No. Am I the best looking guy she's ever had? No. Like, what's keeping her here? And then part of it comes down to, well, am I second place? Could, if she could do better, would she do better? Like, there's a whole bunch of insecurity involved. Mm-hmm. And that's where tiny things, like I'm talking, I know it sounds like dumb shit, tiny things about a favorite car brand become more important than ever, right? It, it, it's your job as a woman, regardless of how much se- sexual history you've had or what guy you're with, etc. It's your job as a woman to make your man feel secure in the fact and make him feel like a man. Like a- <sighs> That's your job, ladies, to make a man feel secure. Like, nah, that's my girl only. Like, nah, like, you feel me? That's your job. Like, wow. I'm saying, make him feel like the man, no matter what he does, so that he feels like you really truly believe he's the best choice for you on the planet. That's your job to do. Now, if you've had a checkered past, that's perhaps more difficult. You need to be more tactful with it, more tactical about it. But you have to achieve the same result. You have to do the exact same thing, right? So Now, he's saying, in nigga term, if you've been with mad niggas, a nigga's going to be insecure. <clears throat> Some niggas, but most, they may say all. Like, you feel me? Because if you've been with a fucking hundred niggas, bro, it's like, come on, like. Niggas is gonna think about all kind of shit. You feel me? If especially if it's a hundred niggas and he know about it, like really running. You went to a college looking for a young kid, like crazy. Like come on, that's crazy. It's easy for me if I get a a twenty one year old virgin from some village in Slovakia, and I'm multi millionaire Andrew Tate. Of course, it's a very easy. She's never had better. She'll never get better. She's never been anywhere. Boom, boom, easy one, right? But like you said, the world's not so 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 idealistic. The reality is that people have had relationships, etc., etc. Nice. But a man is happiest in the relationship when he feels like man of the house, and when he truly feels like you believe he's the best man that you could possibly ever get and have ever gotten. Because a man is jealous. I'll tell you something. I used to say this to girls as like a joke. And I used to say, truth and I used to say yeah, no, but I used to say it's a joke. So you cheated on me before I met you. <laughs> and she'd be like, what do you mean? I didn't even know you. It's like, yeah, you fucked that guy before I even knew you. You cheated on me. And they used to laugh, whatever, but that's how men think. Facts. That's the male mind. Like, Facts. I know you, and you've been fucked by who? But I didn't know you. I don't care if you knew Facts. me. You should have waited. What do you mean? But that's the male mind. So he is in competition with all of your exes and all of your lifestyle and all the things you've done permanently. And it's down to you as a woman to sit there and go, how do I make him secure in himself and secure in his masculinity and make him believe that investing in me is still worthwhile bro. because I still truly... He's, yo, you he's giving her so much the game. Fact that I could do X, Y, Z. Bro, he's giving her so much game right now. Look how she looking at him. She looking at him like, damn, bro. I'm about to score this next nigga I get. This next nigga I get, I'm going to make him feel like he everything. You feel me? Nah, yo, Tay is goaded, bro. I pray that he ain't. You feel me? I pray that that shit ain't true. That he gets out and it's just all a big misunderstanding. Because if he's human trafficking, bro, that's crazy. That's crazy if they doing that, bro. And he deserve everything he gonna get. Like, comment, subscribe, though, man. You know, I'm still riding with Top G and them, though. So, 
Like, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm dropping all this shit today. Tomorrow, we, we just going at it. Killer on the way. Um, we got the horror. We got the um, FBG Duck horror joint that's coming up. We got some more Charleston. We got, of course, we got the Cuz, OG Percy. We working right now. Squeeze game. Get us to that 10K. Squeeze.